Hey guys, what up, what up, Stark51 here. Um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can make, uh, break those noodles all over my chair. Um, <laughs> how you can make a quick outro. You can put as much effort as you want into it, or you can just, like, slap it together like I usually do. It doesn't really matter. So, <coughs> what you're going to need is Camtasia Studio. Um, I guess Sony Vegas could work, but if you can't afford that stuff like me, if you have a crappy job or something like that, um, you're going to want to go with something different. I don't think Sony Vegas has a trial, but Camtasia Studio does, and they have 30-day trials. Um, and also, they let you continue to re-download it when it runs out. They don't really care. Anyway, so this is what this looks like. I'm um, going to do that like that. And first thing we need is uh, wallpaper. Um, something that's going to suit you, your personality kind of thing. I just looked up dark wallpapers. So that's what I got. I got the Punisher because I like the Punisher. Um, I'm gonna just minimize that in case I need it. Um, what you're gonna want to do is import media <coughs> and find where you put your picture because you can't copy and paste into this. I don't think. Here we go. And you're gonna put that on track one, which is right there at the bottom. I'm not gonna give any tutorials. Just a heads up, though. Um, yes, so put this down here and you should have 1280 by 720 because that's what YouTube is. There's actually a preset thing for that. So just stretch the picture to fit the screen. All you have to do is click down here on it, on the picture, and it'll select it and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, now for your song, for your, um, background music. That's going to determine how long your outro is going to be. Um, if you go to the library, they have some music down here. I'm just going to oh, freak. want to open that. So they have a bunch of interesting music here. Excuse me. Um, you can pick from it. There's short ones you can use, which would be perfect for um, outros because they're 30 some seconds long each of them are except for that one that one's like a minute long but they're pretty much around yeah so you can just pick some music that suits you or you can go to import media and go to what you have for yeah what you have for music and you can trim that however you want. You can listen to it. This is really loud. So I want no. I want it down here. It's about to where the thing starts. <coughs> so so far you have this. There's where I want my music to start. Um, right there. Oh yeah, to cut, you just move this playhead around. Um, put your um, playhead wherever you want to cut the thing, and there's a little, um, this line, split button, and then click the side you want to get rid of, and click the cut button. So yeah. So you want your outro to be about 30 seconds long. I don't do intros, I do outros, so you're going to have to find somebody else if you're doing intros, but this could apply to intros, I guess, if you want. mine to end a bit there. So again, click that little line with the arrow on the other side. Click on the side you want to get rid of and the scissors. And you're going to stretch your picture all the way to there. 
and then you want to Now, you don't want your music to always be that loud, so you click on the audio tab. You click volume down to make it quieter, or volume up to make it louder. So I'm going to put it a little quieter. That works. And you want it to fade in and fade out, then there's a fade in and fade out button. So it sounds like this. So there you go. For that. So that's how that is. Um, now, you're going to want to put, like, <coughs> thingies in here. I'm going to go to the callout button and add callout. You don't want an arrow. You want a square. So there's um, this square. Basically, to make the ones that I make, I use the drawn-in squares. But you can use any one you want just to know where you're going to put your videos stuff. So you can put this. Um, you can go to border, make it however thick you want. Um, you know, make it however big you want. It doesn't matter. You can show one video or you can show multiple videos. You know, it's just your idea. If you want to put like a fan art like I do, that's fine. Do do what you want. Yeah, it's your thing. You can just um, do what you want with that. And. Yeah, I guess I'll do this. So, <coughs> again, you can do whatever you want and put whatever color that matches. And blue is a really good color. Put red, pink, whatever. Um, um, if you have a hard time remembering what goes in the thing, see that's going to disappear. You just, um, Go to the middle of the video to choose what you want. Um, I draw mine in, so I'll show you how it works. If you haven't been watching my outros, then you won't know, but that one goes really fast. So you can change how long it takes to draw it in. I'm going to put it in about two seconds. Eee, get over there. There we go. So they're going to be longer. Yeah, mine are really slow, but <clears throat> it's okay. Or you, I think you can make them up to like five seconds. Anyway, I think my, mine are five seconds. Yeah, so that's how fast it goes. Um, anyway, if you have trouble remembering. Like, if you have multiple squares that have stuff in them, and you have a hard time remembering what goes in where, you can, um, go add callout, add another callout, um, click on the text, which is under special, make it as big as you want, um, I don't know, 36, um, make it white, because that's easy to see on a dark background, and just, like, pick whatever you want, and put, um, whatever you're gonna have in there, Let's say last, I can't even spell, last video for this one. Put it in all caps. Last video! And so we're going to put that there. Um, change this to not fade out because nobody's going to see it. Because it's going to be under your video. And all you have to do to make it the text bigger or smaller or whatever is just sort of highlight it and make it bigger. <laughs> bigger. Um, certain fonts do actually have certain sizes though. So. Hold on. I usually use impact. <laughs> there we go. So I usually get a big font. Whee! There we go. So, <coughs> yes, put what you want in there, and yeah. Um, social icons. Now, um, you can put transparent stuff into this. So let's say, um, Facebook. 
Icon transparent, let's say. We'll just pick a Facebook icon. Um, and the lucky winner is, is, I don't know. I'm just going to put one in because I don't know what you guys have for social things. That's not transparent, I don't think. This looks really cool though. It does. Okay, we'll pick this one. So you're gonna click, um, not copy, save. And then, Facebook tutorial icon. And save that wherever you're gonna save it. Okay, good. Okay. Gonna import this. Like the last one. And, oh yeah. Now you're going to drag this onto a new track, which is up there, track 5. And you notice it's bigger than half that thing, you just make it smaller. As small as you want. And, you know, put it wherever you want. Do whatever. Um, probably best to put it at like the bottom or something. And then, you're going to go back to call it because you want people to know what your thing in boob is. And you're going to type, I don't know, what, whatever your Twitter is. You want this to be white. So, at minus nerf 11. So, I'm going to take that and put that down. I, I can get a I need both ones. Get up, up, up. This is really hard to work with. Okay, at snare 511. Go to select it. And you can make it, I think, up to 150. There. there. And it's a big icon thing. There you go. You know, make it as big as you want. I don't really care. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I did, pretty much. Um, I can show you how I usually do my thing. Um, first of all though, if you're going to save this, um, but the options I use for my videos, um, go up to produce and share and the little icon, the little arrow, um, produce and share. <coughs> Click and go custom production settings. Next, 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 next. And we're gonna say just outro, outro. You can select where you want to put the thing. Say, I'm not going to actually do this, but it's gonna take forever to render on my computer, especially. So I'm not gonna show you that. Um, yeah. So how you do your outro thing now? Just gonna go to new project. No suck. Anyway, say you have a video, you're going to go wherever you put your outro, where the freak, oh, start with one, editing, edit, 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 and this is my new outro, because I had an old one, if you remember. So, <coughs> again, import media, bring it out from wherever it is, um, YouTube, as usual. As per usual, and you put that there. So this is my outro. If you guys recognize that, and this is what it actually looks like um, before I put videos and stuff in there. Cause I'm terribly stupid, so I'm not gonna remember these. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, so what you, what I do usually is. I import um, a picture that me. I import a picture for my thing for my fan art thing, which I bring that down here. If you guys are going to do fan art, then this is just do the same thing. Stretch it to the end to that, and you size it down to the size you want, and try to get it as close to the edge as possible. And just try to get it to fit in the square. And like that. If you want to 
want to see the animation to end here. You guys have seen it? Like, it's really nice, so it's not cool to that. But, um, yeah. And then for another thing is, let's go videos. We'll say this one. And <coughs> put and cut a random part of the video. This is what I usually do. And drag that over to everything else. This is just a video of me being a retard anyway. And then drag this to the middle because that's what all the squares are drawn and stuff. I'm waiting for this to show up. So you set that down so you can see the screen again. Make sure you click on the right one because you're going to be sorry if you don't. And way small. And just like the last one, try to fit that in there. And... Oh, nope. I messed it up. Boop. Mm, boop, boop. Okay. This is close as you're going to get. So it's pretty much... You smell my ear from here. Let's play. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> this is how you make an, uh, an outro. I don't know if this would work for intros too. Probably will. Um, also how you can use your outro. Um, yeah. Basically that's all you do. So you're welcome, GamerJB, for that. Because I know you really wanted to know. And, yeah. Um, you're welcome again. Hope you liked this video. Um, don't forget to do whatever you want because we're almost at 50 subs, uh, subs and over a thousand views. So we're doing pretty darn good. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you later. And you know the drill: stay awesome. Ones, but I know this one is the best. Yeah.